And here we go. Again, this is the Samsung Gaming Monitor. Very generic branding on the box, but to be specific, it is the CJG56, you can see right there in the corner. So it gives you a little bit of information about kind of the stand and then of course how the control works. It is a joystick looks like that is on the bottom of the monitor, so bottom center. So let's see what we've got here. We've got bottom of the stand. So it looks like this is the cover that will hide all of your, like your HDMI or your display port cables. This will go over it to hide those. So looks like the, looks like a middle part of the stand. So let's see what's in this box. Let's see, it comes with one display port cable, one HDMI cable, and then you do have an external power supply that just plugs in directly to the back of it as well. That looks like everything in here. And of course you've got some warranty and regulatory information in this box. And now for the main event, the monitor itself. Again, it is the curved display and there you have it. Beautiful monitor. Aside from the bottom, it's got very, very thin bezels, which is really nice. And it looks like it has an anti-glare uh, property to it or finish on it. So starting with the basics of this monitor, it is a 27 inch 1800R curved VA panel with a total resolution of 2560 by 1440. So it is, yes, a 2K gaming monitor. It does have a four millisecond response rate and up to 144 Hertz refresh rate, but it does support FreeSync. As far as inputs are concerned on the back panel, you're gonna find not one, but two HDMI 2.0s, one display port and one three and a half millimeter audio jack. And then of course you're gonna find the power jack for the monitor itself. Now all of this can be hidden with a nice plastic removable cover. And oh, did I mention it does have Visa mounting options. Now I was surprised to see that the monitor did have a fixed stand with only just a few degrees worth of a tilting function. So if you want a little bit more movement flexibility, you will want to invest in either a monitor stand or a monitor arm. That being said, I will say that the screen was absolutely beautiful to look at with pretty accurate colors. And being that it does have a 3000 to one contrast ratio, you do get those nicer, deeper blacks and those whiter whites. Pairing that with the really thin bezels, it honestly feels like the screen is much larger than 27 inches. Now, when I plugged in the monitor, it automatically adopted the 144 hertz refresh rate. And even with the four millisecond response timing, I didn't see any type of ghosting or any odd behavior while playing Call of Duty or other similar games. One of the nice things that I really liked about this monitor is it did have a menu UI system called Game Style that had a section where it would show you all of your general monitor settings at a quick glance. The monitor does also have some pre-designed display modes that you can play around with and change depending on the different type of game that you're playing to ensure you get the best image quality. However, they did make it to where you can go in and make those custom adjustments too. Now, even though I haven't had a ton of time to spend with this monitor, I am already impressed and I really enjoy what Samsung did with this monitor on the design and for only 280 bucks, you're getting a steal for a monitor. I remember I spent that amount like three or four years back when I bought my first Asus gaming monitor that supported that 144 hertz refresh rate. So next time that you're in the market for a gaming monitor, you may want to take a look at the Samsung lineup and see if that is something that would fit your bill. That is going to wrap up today's video. I will be posting the product link in the description below. So if you wanted to check out a little bit more information or the specs about this monitor, you can certainly do so. Just keep in mind, it is an affiliate link. And if you do choose to purchase through that link, we will receive some type of commission, which does help support the channel. Enough of that. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I do certainly appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy this type of content. Let me know in the comments below whether you do or if you don't. I would love to connect with you. And of course, subscribe and ring that bell icon so you guys don't miss out on any type of future uploads. And we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>